the content in this video will be showed how to calculate and choose a resistor for LED circuit, step by step in details. This is a DC 12 volt battery. Those are the different LEDs and varies the value of resistors. The voltage value of a LED can be found from its data sheet. And the details here are general indication only. Red LED, its voltage value is 1.63 to 2.03 volt for example. Yellow LED, 2.10 to 2.18 volt. Green LED, 1.9 to 4.0 volt. This is the basic LED circuit. DC power or battery is here, resistor is there, and followed by a LED. Please note, there is no difference to put the LED in front of the resistor instead of here. A range of 5 to 20 milliamperes is normally this type of LED working current. Now using a LED tester to test this green LED. Its voltage value is 2.5 volt. As an example, I am drawing a LED circuit with a resistor and a battery. Let's make this circuit current is 10 milliamperes. A resistor there, and followed by a 2.5 volt LED. First, 2.5 volt for the LED has been known. Second, resistor equals 12 volt minus 2.5 volt over 10 milliamperes. Equals 950 ohms. Third, resistor's dissipation equals I times V equals I squared times R equals 0 0.01 square times 950 equals 0 0.095 watt. So one quarter what resistor can be chosen. This PCB was made by that circuit. And now checking a resistor's value. 990 ohms was indicated by the multimeter. Twelve volt battery is here. And a multimeter has been connected to measure the LED circuit current. Nine hundred and ninety ohms. One quarter watt resistor is here and 2.5 volt green LED is there. Connected battery, the LED LED, and the circuit's current is 9.5 milliamperes. The result is well within the range desired. To double check can be done by 9.5 milliampere square times 990 ohms equals 0 0.09 watt for the resistor dissipation. So chosen the size of one quarter watt resistor was all right. The multi LED circuit, such as three LEDs and a resistor in series connected in the circuit. When a LED was faulty, the rest LEDs would not work anymore, so this type of connection would not be wisely used in practice. However, three LEDs in parallel each other with a resistor in series are common connected in practice, and likes the one here. Suppose 5 milliamperes current goes through each LED as designated. Then total current will be 15 milliamperes here.
First, each LED is 2.5 volt. Second, resistor equals 12 volt minus 2.5 volt over 3 times 5 milliamperes equals 633 ohms. Third, resistor's dissipation equals A times V equals I square times R equals 0 0.015 square times 633 equals 0 0.14 watt. So it is okay to choose a 1 quarter watt resistor. This PCB with 3 LEDs was made by that circuit. And now checking a DIY resistor's value. 670 ohms was indicated by the multimeter. Let's look closer. Three LEDs are along here. And a DIY made resistor of 670 ohms here. A multimeter has been connected to measure the LED circuit current. Connected battery, the LEDs lit. And the circuit's current is 14 milliampers. This DIY resistor has a watt of dissipation capacity. And the circuit's current of 14 milliampers is well within the range desired. Summary. First to do, find out the value of LED's voltage, either from datasheet or actual testing, such as an example of 2.5 volt for the green LED. Second to do, calculating the value of resistor, which was showed an example like this in the video. Third or last thing to do, calculating resistor's dissipation to choose its size by using formula, I times V or I square times R. As showed in the video, in other words, this result will decide either using 1 quarter watt or 1 half watt resistor etc. That's it. Now you've known how to DIY LED circuit, calculate and choose a right resistor. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Your encouragement is my motivation.